Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining today. Um, the fly I'm going to tie today is real productive. It, it'll catch your fish every month of the year, all year round. Um, it's a small version of a, a black snake with a, um, a mink body rather than rabbit. Um, its only overall length is three inches long. Um, and obviously with the trailing hook, um, it hooks up fish very well. You don't get the um, the nibbles and pulls like you would um, with a, a long zonker tail and the hook at the front. Um, you can either do them with two hooks in like this, or for our local waters, we have to nip the front barb off because you're only allowed one hook at the back. So it depends on where you fish. And what the rules say where you're fishing um, but I prefer to chop the barb off at the front once the fly is completed so we'll get on and tie it um, you do this in two bits so the hook I'm gonna put in the this is the back hook um, it's a size 10 blob hook um, so it's sturdy you tend to get a lot of big fish on this pattern um, so you need a good sturdy hook at the back so we'll, we'll start away we'll put a thread base down the thread I'm using is UTC 70 in black so we'll start just We'll stop by the bend there. I've got some um, crystal flash in dark green. I'm going to use this um, on the body. So at the rear, what I like to do is take a portion and then fold it over so it ends up where there's going to be four bits sticking out the back. So I'll just tie that in. All the way along, I'll tie it down. You're going to cover all this up so it doesn't really matter. We'll take one underneath and then we'll chop this. This is just a target, basically. So once we've got our tail in, we're going to use some um, 30 pound braid. Um, this is grey but I've just um, used a permanent marker to make it black just to take the shine off. So we're going to um, tie this onto the back, start, start here, go all the way along to the back, cinching it down tight. And then what I do is come along, take it over, all the way back to the front, and then start cinching down tight. Once this, once you've done a fair few wraps on this, it's definitely not going to come out. But what you can do as well. If you want, you can actually pop a bit of super glue on this, but I tell you now, it never, once you've tied it down like this, it never comes out. So we're going to take it to the back. And this is where we're going to put our three inch minty strip in. So what we're going to do is split a bit of the fur, it's easier if you wet it and get down to the to the actual hide part. You don't want it sticking too far out the back. I normally take where the, the hide ends just past the trigger point so the fish don't nip at it. 
the, I mean the the body of the mink is only about a quarter of an inch. That's what gives it some lovely movement. So we'll get that onto the top of the shank, and then we'll tie a few in front. And then we'll take another one. And then some more down the front. Now what we're going to do is put a bit for the body of this bit. We're going to put a bit of um, it's holographic um, green. So we'll put a bit of that in for the body, just from give it a bit of sparkle from underneath the actual body itself. So we'll tie that in, take it along. This loose bit of braid is a bit of a pain, but you just have to have to work round it. That's the bit that joins onto the front hook. So we'll wrap that round. Tie that off. Snip it off. What we can do here is just put a bit of UV on there just to seal it. And then we can bring my my meat to the front again. Did it where it's near the front of the hook. Cinch it down. And then cut the turns. What we'll do, we'll take that. On that side, and then we'll tie it off. So that's the back end of the, the fly done. So now what we have to do is create the front end. So we'll take that out of the vise. And the front end is same hook, but it has a four millimeter um, brass bead on black bead. So Start behind the bead. Build up a thread base. We only want to be going so far along here because we're going to cut this off eventually when, when we're finished. Like you see, you can leave it on if you want, but I find that it sometimes gets tangled as well. I, I like them with just one on, to be fair. 
So there's my base. So now stick this little tool on it's just a it just holds the stops you getting the uh, fingers pricked just put that in there like so so what we can do is measure up where we want now you want a little bit of slack in your braid when you uh, when you come to put your wrap your uh, mink on so it's better to have a bit of slack than, than have it tight. So about there. That's looking good, I think. Let's get the length. Take that over the top, stick that in there, and then what we can do, we can cinch this down. Making sure that when we get it to where we want to be, the one is on the top. I'll take this back along. that off bind it down tight you see make sure that's that's on the top What I'm going to do is use the crinkle flash again, the green. Now I only need half of this because I'll get two flies out of this because I'll be I'll be trimming it off. Now there's four four strands here, so we'll put the four strands on here on the top. That's the main. Take them down for the body again using my, my uh, olive or short truth it is actually to create this. down again we can use a tiny bit of UV on it off Rabbit, sorry, mink, not rabbit, down to the front, tie it in, make sure it's nice and tight. Like so, you can actually 
in a minute if you wish put it a bit of varnish on your thread and then do a few turns so that can be sinking in so we're going to leave that now this bit here can be trimmed once we we'll get the fly finished what i'm going to do with this is um i'm going to put some of this peacock dubbing um in a dub in a, in a loop dubbing loop and wind it on now this is a uh, lovely it's, it's beautiful stuff it's a uh, saman from czech republic it's 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 got uv and green all sorts of stuff it's really nice so i'm going to use this i'll just create a dub and loop over the top put it in the holder just get the dubbing tool which is homemade take a bit of this lovely peacock dubbing we'll open the loop I'm gonna put it in spread it about give it a twist spiky head you can see it's got lovely lovely colours in this take my thread push this back round Cut all the excess off. Push this back. And then again put some varnish on. Finish the front off. Right, you can brush the front of the head. All we need to do now, I cut these, these here at the length just before the hook. There we go. And there we have it. The three inch mink. We'll call it the Mink Terminator because every fly, everybody ever does now has to have a daft name. So we'll call this the Mink Terminator. It doesn't matter what you call it, it catches a hell of a lot of fish. So get them tied up. Um, you can fish them from floating lines down to sinking lines. The movement's great and it attracts big fish. Um, if you like it, please subscribe. Check my other flies out on my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Cheers now.